So, I think it's about time we sort out our staff buildings. <laughs> and I've had a little bit of a play around outside of the series, and I have to say, the blueprint buildings that you get for the staff facilities from the conservation pack is amazing. Like, they're so nice. I can see we don't actually have them right now, but we can easily research them with our mechanic. If I just pull them off what they're doing uh, onto conservation. Once they've done the level two of this, we'll get blueprints. And I think this is the only level we're actually gonna need is just level two. But I honestly, I spent so long just making my own custom ones. And then I saw the ones that Frontier have made and actually they're, uh, they're pretty good. <laughs> I won't lie. Also, how cool is this? I've never probably got up close to the water tanks before. They look so nice. So I think while our mechanic uh, kind of sorts that out, we could take a stab at making some buildings over here. Um, so to do that, we're gonna go into construction and get ourselves, let's filter out some packs we don't want. So we can go by theme, I think, and just go conservation. And then, yeah, we've got all our 3D printed stuff. Now, over here, I'm trying to think if there are any designs that we could use. I'm kind of feeling this, like the three arches, um, should be possible. Just to basically, in volumetric building, we're going to repeat the shapes. Um, so, seeing as we've already built this shape, we could just copy this and uh, basically just say that it was the same. This is a, a shape. This is a piece of building. Um, let me just uh, duplicate that. Can we exit the group? Yeah, place it as a new group. So you can add to group three. Okay, it doesn't like that. Let's exit group three and let's just put it down. Down here. It can just be its own group. I think about there seems fairly central let's just check it's not in the same group still no it's in its own group so now we can sort out the back of this um i'm tempted to copy it and spin it round however i think it might just be quicker to just uh just fill it in um and i guess in this case we would go for something a bit well, if we had this as a one piece, then we could have a curve as the next one. I'm just trying to use as, as few shapes as, as possible, just to try and keep in our theme. But obviously it's going to look really ugly if we don't do something kind of decent. Um, and we don't want it to look ugly. What is that going to be? Mm, okay. In that case, let's just go straight away for a curve one. And then should get our little extra extra pieces. The one meter wall. So much easier when we've already kind of built it out. And then we just need the, the roof pieces, which I think was this 3D printed floor. Is that the same there? Yeah. And then we just need to copy the compost. I can't actually remember where, where which one this was. I, I'm just gonna click it and control D and see if we can put this one here anyway. Nice. And then let's see if we can find them because I don't think they're in the conservation pack. Uh, so we may have to take the theme off. Oh, we're not searching on that anymore. I think it was in nature. I think it was just something in here, which makes sense uh, because it, you know, gr uh, dirt is kind of, on the, there it is, it's in the nature field. <laughs> okay, so let's get a, a nice curve and set this in here. And on the other side, look how quickly we're getting this building up. And then we can just put in some, ah, oh, two by four should be fine. Yeah, let's put that there. And one final one. There, right. Now we can just duplicate this a little bit. My goodness, the guests are screaming. 
Like, they're not even in the zoo yet, and they're already getting crazy. Uh, let's just rotate a little bit more. Put this one there. And then we can just copy some of the flowers from the roof. Um, let's grab some of these. Exit the group. Join this group. And let's put them in like that. And I'm just going to put a few more of these pink ones in, because they're very nice. Okay, so that's a decent shell of a building. Now we just need to actually make it, you know, look somewhat decent. <laughs> and there's actually a piece, oh no, I don't think we've unlocked the pack for it. There's a piece in the Europe pack that I was considering using for a second. But I think we'll actually be better off building in something. So let's again, let's filter conservation. We're gonna have these continue back they could join at the back there I'm just gonna fill them in like that and then we can put some doors on uh, what's a decent door we've got these windows on them haven't we where are these from these are new world are there any new world doors maybe we should filter by new world okay that'll work <laughs> what have we got on? It's maybe a line to surface has made it so odd. Something like that. Let's have that go across. Ooh, again, they're not quite straight. Oh dear. Feel like that. And one more. Over there. Slightly wonky door. It's just a slightly drunk door. <laughs> right, there we go. And then door to the outside. Let's grab one of these and let's put it. Um, where would we put it? I suppose they jump over the counter, don't they? So, for realism, I feel like we should probably have a door at the back though. So I'm just going to whack one on here. That's obviously only staff only. And it's just gonna go in here. And just sink it in very slightly. So, that looks all right. So they'd enter in there, they'd go through the back, and they can enter their own. I quite like that it's um, getting all these VIP guests. I didn't realize we still had VIP guests. I might just quickly disable that in settings. Okay, I've disabled it in settings now. It's getting very dark as well. I'm just gonna... I mean, you can see the lights quite nicely, which is good. But I, I just... It's a little bit late. I'm just gonna turn... Turn back time a little bit. There we go. Okay, that looks all right. It's just a little bit easier for building. And then we want to get on a decent floor, don't we? So I'm trying to think what would be a good floor piece. Let's try and stick with the uh, conservation and new world theme. Because between them, there's quite a lot of nice pieces. Maybe something like this would be nice. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go with something like this. Can we get a... I think the 4 meter one won't go horizontal, so we have to... There, press X twice to get the... To be able to turn it horizontally. I should have put angle snap on then. Um, but I think it's going to be okay. Okay. Goodness, I'm gonna get sick of them talking. <laughs> okay, and down. Let's just have it like that. Now, we still, that's the floor done. We still need to get some. Oh, it's clipping a little bit on some of them, but I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna, it's gonna balance out. It might just be because some of them, they just need, like, raising very slightly. Sometimes that fixes them. They're a little bit, they're a little bit flickery. You can, you can see. For now, I'm just going to carry on building because I'm not sure you're even going to notice when we're done. So let's just put in a two meter, no, a one meter under there. 
give a bit of a base to it. I'm going to have to move these back. And move this one back. There we go. That looks a lot better. And the, the, I mean, they're slightly plain rooms, but we, we can we can spice them up. <laughs> I feel like we need some wall decorations and awnings and stuff. So let's put a new world canopy on because they're nice. I like these. And I quite like this like high high thing we've got going on with the arch. It's set very high up on the wall. Let's go there. Duplicate. We'll make a second. Oh, and then duplicate again, and we'll make a third. And then, do we want a... It's kind of going to ruin our arch, isn't it, if we put one of these in. Already got the canopy. Mm. Let's see what else we have. I do like these, though. This is the problem. No, let's keep, let's keep the arch. The arch is a little bit different. Can we put in a small... Ooh, what did the inspector say? Oh, that's pretty good. I think we're making money now. Yeah, we're making loads of money. Um, oh my goodness, mechanic research is complete as well. Uh, let's put you on the new world theme as well. Let's just get those. Or do we need food shop? Nah, let's get... What are we going for? Drink shops or food shops? Go for a food shop. And the vet research is complete. Ah, oh, goliath frogs. Okay, let's. Okay, now they've done two. Let's move them on to the iguanas, and we'll go through, give them some stuff. If we go visit our Goliath frogs, you can see actually what they've got. Uh, where are they? They're over here. So, oh no, if we have them here, we can now add in because we've done that education. We can now add in some logs. So that's pretty cool. Makes the habitat a little bit nicer, and it gives them a higher boost. What's wrong with your animal welfare? Oh, there's too many of them. Oh, goodness. They're very sensitive. That one's older. Let's get the young one. There you go. Everything fine? Yeah, I think everything's fine. Let's just, you know, we can request the keeper as well. Just to make sure everything is okay. And then we can just release or quick trade them because we bought them. Let's put them in another zoo. Another happy home. Okay. Whew, crisis averted. I think. Back here. See what wall decorations we have. I think if we can copy these and put these in here. It will look quite nice. Oh, it's coming along, guys. It is coming along. Look at that. It's a bit barren on the walls. I'm trying to think what we can do as far as something new world that could fit on the wall. This could actually just go on the wall as it is. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Mural? Oh, that's a bit big. Oh, these are cool. Oh, we've got to have one of these in. Okay, so let's... Can we put a line surface on now? Yes. Okay, we're going to have balls. We're going to have bears. We're going to have antelopes. How cute is that? Oh, I love this. Okay, mechanic. Mechanic's just, mechanic's just going for it. I feel like the mechanic should probably just walk around the zoo a bit and fix some stuff, because I imagine our stuff's getting a little bit low now. Um, so now, final things we want to do is just... Do you want to do this wall decoration? I think we might be okay. I mean... I'm not a massive fan of the side walls. But I think if we put something like this in very quickly, problem is you can spend all day just doing this. 
Okay, and let's put both of these up. Ooh, a little bit difficult to build inside the place. That is quite cute. Oh, actually, I think this one, these three just need to be lowered uh, down. That looks a lot better, right. Put them there. Let's put them there. Just gives a little bit of texture to the walls. I'm just trying to keep it very natural, like we're only using wood to decorate. That's literally all we've done. And, and you know, screen, pan screen panels with animals on them, but that's wood, right? Like, yeah, sure. Okay, because then I want to get into our main animal of the day. Right, there we go. I think that looks good. I'm fairly happy with those. I think they're quite cute. So I'm going to leave them there for now. And we are going to build our next big habitat. So I, I am going to leave the exhibit for now because we've got our axolotl to go into here. However, there is new DLC or new uh, free LC, you should call it, because it's just a free update coming out. And that is going to give us... Uh, more exhibit stuff for our animals. So we're going to have like exhibit educators it looks and stuff like that, which I just can't, cannot wait for. So very excited. And I think it'll be fun to put our axolotl in and see, see those changes come through. Um, so let's continue. Width on seven. I'm going to come around this side because I think we're going to, the plan was of all the animals we have, now the rest of them, excluding the axolotl, are either in Asia or in Africa. So the plan is to split the park now into two. And I think we're going to have Africa go off this side, you know, to, towards these these mountains. And then Asia to go off this side towards these, um, well, you know. So if we go around this way, I think that'd be good because I think we might have some bears. And that way we can put the bears in these massive caves we've got. I've also just realized that that path is probably making a really annoying sound. So I apologize. Let's just have the path curve around here. And what animal do you need first? To say that you're doing an African exhibit, the giraffes, that's what we need. We need giraffes in here. So I think, I think we should build them in here. It leaves a little bit of space here for something. We can have a nice big habitat. So let's get off barriers. We're going to put a habitat gate in first. I'm going to whack this actually down here. Their research is complete. Wow, they're going through it. Dr. Doolittle is absolutely destroyed. I mean, he can talk to them, so it's not really fair on like other zoos, but you know, um, let's just do a quick check on what the giraffes can actually, what barriers they need. So if we go for reticulated giraffe, they are endangered as are all the species in this zoo. Need grade three higher than two meters. Now I think wood is grade three, yes. And the plan is to use wooden logs in this habitat because previously we've sunk the habitats down and that's one way to do it and we've kind of filled in with rocks. But another way to do it and the other way I think I'll do above ground is to use wooden logs and kind of keep the sustainability going that way because obviously all trees you can regrow. Um, you know, it, it's never good to dig down but obviously there's no maintenance. This will require maintenance but it is only trees so they can grow more trees and it's all sustainable still. So we're going to carry on. I think I'm going to set these on eight or six. I'm going to go six, actually. And we're going to have a little design. And we can make them all the same heights. So if we, I might have to pause the game just because so much is happening. If we click on the edit barrier and then we select all by clicking this button, the circle button, we can then raise them all up at the same time. And I've got it so that all of them are on the same height. So flat top. Um, we need to make sure that, let's put a big barrier in for this one. I'm thinking three and a half because we need to make sure it's um, two meters, but that needs to be two meters the whole way around. So you can see here it's 2.5. Okay, so let's go a little bit further down. 
Let's make it so at the lowest point, it's two meters, which I think it is around here. We've got some very high, we've got five meters over there. So that's quite considerable. However, we're going to spice it up and it's going to look cool. It's going to be a bit interesting and a bit different. I think we've already got quite a, a few different levels in the terrain. It's not it's not too bumpy, but I don't want it to be for giraffes because they don't like they've got very brittle ankles, I think, don't they? Or, you know, if they fall over, then they they, they die or something like that. So I don't want to I don't want to be too crazy with it. We should probably actually check them in the Zoopedia again to see how many can live in the same same habitat. So we can have four males and eight females. So I think we're gonna go for, we're gonna breed them. So let's, let, we'll get up to four males. They're pretty good actually. They live in herds, so, okay. Um, so if we had four adults, they'd need a lot of space. So 2,302. This one has got 5,000. So they're definitely fine in this. Although I'm not keen on the shape here. I am just gonna change this. I'd like it to kind of curve out. And then I think we can just take some of the length off it here. Uh, let's go here, here, there. I prefer that. That's quite a steep curve to come out. Let's go there. Okay. As long as the whole thing, it just still needs to be at two meters. So yeah, it's, it's a little bit low over there. Two oh one. Goodness, it's getting very high on this side. We may have to step it down slightly. <laughs> See how far the design gets away from me. So let's get out some giraffes anyway. Okay. Goodness, they're so expensive. You can only buy them with. Let's go on price, filter, just cash. See if we can buy them with money. Oh, there's none for the money at the minute. Okay, well, we can afford at least one right now. So let's get ourselves, he's a pretty good male, actually. Let's get this one. Adopt. See. 666 is pretty much all we can afford. Or do, let's go for let's go for a cheaper female. Actually. Um, no, they're not very good. Let's get this male. We'll have one male. <laughs> and let's send him to our quarantine. And this habitat is also going to have the Nile Lech. We I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, let me put it in here. Nile Lech. We. Uh, let's just put... Oh, that's why. I was going to say, why can't we find any? Nile Lechwe? Lechwe? So it's going to have these in because they will benefit from sharing with the uh, with the giraffes as well. So we'll put some of these in too. But we're going to do that in the next episode, I think. In this one, we'll just put our giraffe in and try and make sure that they're happy with everything. So the design I was going to go on with this is I think I will sink... I think I'm going to just have to sink down some of it because it's going to look too tall. And I would like the the problem is I want the giraffe to look tall. And if we make it so that the barriers are too tall, then <laughs> it's going to somewhat shrink the giraffes like in perspective. They're not as bad. That's not too tall. And then we can, what's nice is we can have like nice big viewing panels like, um, like that. And it's like, wow. Yeah. You can really like see in. So I think that's the plan. Let's take the viewing panels back one. Our viewing panels there and we'll have viewing panels here. And I think that's all we're going to give our guests. Mm, maybe we should. No, that, I think that's fine. That's sufficient because they're nice big panels. We could even probably make this one a viewing panel, can we? No, we can't. Okay, fair enough. Because <laughs> we do have the door there. I don't know if we can get a little viewing panel above. 
but this should give reasonable visibility into the habitat. And let's be honest, you're going to be able to see them. This habitat is how big now? So it's five, 500. Okay, so it's definitely big enough. If I play to make sure that our, um, our habitat can get through our little our quarantine system, we're also going to need to make sure it's got water. So let's go on our water icon. We're going to need a new one. Okay. So that might be something we could have here even. Well, let's put it on this side because then it can get more. Let's put our water treatment over here and have it on the back corner. I'm going to sit it over here like that. And then we can connect it up. Get rid of that. A four path. Let's just put an ugly little staff path in for now and add it to our work zones. Put it on zoo. I'm going to have both of them. And then... I think that's actually what our, yeah, that's what our mechanics are working on right now. So that's fine. So our mechanic can go fix that if there's ever a problem. But now we can put some water in because this will be, it's not powered. Oh yes, and we need some power, obviously. So let's get a solar panel and we'll double it up. So now we have negative impact on guests. That's before the, uh, the path so we're all fine let's check again yeah yeah that's all fine so we can sink the terrain down slightly over here and have a little bit of a a watering hole i guess it would be that's quite a large watering hole um but there might be quite a few animals i suppose here i'm just going to change the shape of it slightly i think and push it out here a bit more doesn't have to feel quite so deep. Um, I quite like that, actually. The water is quite high, though. I'm just thinking, realistically, they wouldn't fill it that high. So let's just push in, turn this down a little bit. Make them slightly steeper edges. I think it's here. That looks okay. Let's go with that. Um, it's a nice big area as well to drink from. And they pass. Now we can't call our giraffe this. So in the meantime of it getting a name, I'm going to call it... Um, <laughs> my, my mind would absolutely be like, I'm going to call it Eco in the meantime. And then Eco can get a nice name from you guys if you want to, if you'd be so kind as to give him a name. Put it in the comments what you want Eco to be called. It does not have to say an Eco. He can be whatever you guys want. Okay, let's just drink. No, I think they're fine. I'm just going to play around the barriers, but maybe it's just this one to come down slightly. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I just wanted something like that, so it didn't look quite so high. And then we should be able, our animals, our giraffe should be coming on his way. Where's Eco? There he is. Come on! He's four years old. Bless. I don't actually know what kind of enrichment he's gonna need. It's gonna be interesting. Do we have anything already? Um, where am I looking for? R. PQR. There we go. Ah, sprinkler. Not a lot then. Not a lot. Well, let's see him come in. The moment of truth. Our first giraffe. Oh my goodness, he's massive. Wow. Look at him. Wow, what a pretty boy. Oh, look at him showing off. Yep, give it a good run. Gotta try out your new habitat. Look how massive this is for you. Beautiful boy in the sun. Well, that is a majestic beast if I ever did see one. 